Okay, so I have here softener tank width in inches. I'm gonna my water softener is nine inches in diameter and it's 48 inches high. And we have one foot of resin in the bed. So at 10 pounds of salt for regeneration, my grains are 26,000. So let me use that number. <clears throat> I'm gonna assume a very high setting of 25 uh, grains per gallon of iron and, and hardness, 25, which is really high. Actually, realistically, by where we live, Right there, we're in the white, which is seven to 10, and we're 10 to 15, we're on the verge of that, at the edge of that, so we're probably somewhere really around 14, but I'm gonna use 25 as a number. So we said earlier from our calculations that if I use 10 pounds per, of salt per regeneration, that's gonna give me capacity of 26,000 grains. So I'm gonna take one cubic foot Standard dose is just 25,000 grains, which is going to give us another conservative estimate. Okay, so we come over here, we got four people in the house. Uh, days between regeneration is 3.6, but we're a little bit higher than that, and honestly, our water isn't that hard. So we're going to go with four days. So it says 3.6 right there. We're going to go with four days at 10 pounds so this is the new softener controller so we know we need to do every four days so the first thing we're gonna do the red arrow points on today I'm gonna put this all back let's come over there we get more light Okay, the red arrow points to today. I want it to regenerate tonight, so I'm gonna slide this out. I'm gonna go one, two, three. Let's see, that's today, then one, two, three, four. There, one, two, three, four. And then it'll take us back to one, two, three, four. So tonight we're gonna regenerate. So when we get to, when this thing gets to 2 a.m., it's going to um, uh, here. Hold on. Caitlin, Caitlin, come here. Come here real quick. I need you to hold this camera on this thing for me. I need both hands. There you go. Just hold it like right there. There you go. So when it gets to two a.m. It's going to automatically boom, go to the regen. Thanks. You're welcome. It's going to go through the regeneration. It's going to do its rinse, backwash, brine rinse, a rapid, rin uh, rapid rinse, a saddle rinse, and then finally it's going to refill the brine tank. So that way there's salt water left to go for the next regeneration and then it'll come back into in service and see now we're on day two so I'm gonna push all these back in again because I want it to be I want today to be day one yes Caitlin you can have pop hearts So I want to regenerate tonight. So we got one, one, two, three, four. So one, five, one, two, three, four, one, five, nine, and then one again. So the problem is, is that right now I have a flow meter, and I've changed the flow meter already, and it's already jammed up again. So the flow meter functions aren't working correctly.
The flow meter functions, the flow meter isn't functioning properly. So I'm going just to straight out timed unit. So no matter what, every day it's going to automatically do it. I already got my salt setting to what we talked about earlier. Actually, I got it to 12. So let me change that. Salt settings at 12. So let me set that. So right here, I'm going to change this little knob. I'm going to loosen this up. Slide that thing to 10, which is obviously just the mark just above 9. Boom. Now we're ready to install this thing. So I'm going to go downstairs. Go downstairs and install this. Okay, so here's the system that we have now. Here's the flow meter. It keeps jamming up. The cable breaks. Everything works just like it's supposed to on this thing. But the flow meter keeps jamming up. So the first thing I'm going to do... <clears throat> is I'm going to remove uh, remove this screw this screw, this screw and that should let this whole head pop up my furnace is turning on so we're going to do that first oh I forgot, first thing I got to do is I got to unplug this thing so I don't get shocked so do that first and then I'm going to take this head off Okay, so it's a couple minutes later, I got this thing off now. We'll set this out to the side because I'll be able to rebuild it and whatnot. But really, what I need to do, what I'd like to do, yeah, I'm going to leave the flow meter in because it looks like I'm going to have to buy like plumbing parts and stuff to do this, and I don't really feel like messing with that. So here's the valve. This thing moves up and down. This is the thing that allows water to come in to your softener from the, the brine tank. And this is the valve that controls where everything goes. So I'm gonna, now I'm going to do... Is I'm going to pop this new head on somehow. So, and just put those screws back on, tighten the other thing back down the way it was. Okay. So everything's on. Nice and simple. Easy. Put it on there. This screw, this screw, and this screw. That's all I had to do. So now we need to come and we need to we'll get some time here. I know it's about 4 o'clock, so what you want to do is you want to make sure this thing says 4 p.m. So a little bit before four we'll say so it's fine I mean it's not perfect so if you want it to set it's gonna automatically regenerate at two o'clock in the morning so if you want this thing to say regenerate at three o'clock you just lie to it at this point and tell it that it's three o'clock instead of four o'clock if you want it to regenerate at one o'clock you lie to it you tell it's five o'clock instead of four o'clock and that's it make sure when you set this you push in the red and turn the wheel um, just set it for the time that you want um, if you want like I said 2 o'clock in the morning then you just set it for the actual time any other time you'll set it for an hour or ahead or behind depending on how you want it to work so that's that all I gotta do is now is plug this thing in okay it's plugged in and then all we gotta do now is put the back cover on which I got right here and then we're done. It says salt setting nine pounds, but I bumped it up to ten because I'm like that. So that's all you gotta do. And then and tonight, and every time that that when these tabs is pulled out, that's the night it's gonna regenerate. So if you want to do every other night, you go like that. So it'd be there, and then skip a night, then do the next one, then skip a night, then the next one, all the way around the whole thing. This is 12 days total here. So that's all it is. And like I said, um. Most of the time when people do this, they do this the opposite way. They take this thing out and then they put the flow meter in because the flow meter will, you know, make it so it only does it so many gallons. I don't care. If I go on vacation or something, all I gotta do is unplug this and then it'll pause everything. The valve will still work. The, the filter will still work, but it just won't move the time. So I'm going to put it together and then we're done. Thanks.